hello again. Uh, so we found out that the next one is going to be the story one. So this might be a long video. That's that's OK. We've done longer videos before. So uh, if you need to take a break, please do. Uh, don't forget to hydrate as always. And um, yeah, this is going to be a thing. If we ever get it, <laughs> to be honest. Uh, also, I noticed this. <laughs> that's a uh, neat. 666 six, six comms. Well, I'm at the point where I almost need less than 900. Wait, am I at that point yet? N n yes, I am. I'm done. Less than 800. Woo. 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 Um, I jump. Um, I jump. Trying to get that mentor status, huh? Yes, sir. Dude, listen. Okay, so. The whole obsession with me getting Rentor, one. One is to um, be an actual mentor, not just the people that have a crown. We know those people. People that have a crown, they're like, oh, I know what I'm doing. You have to follow me. Uh, I'm here for a mount, and I don't really care about you. You know what I'm talking about. I'm um, trying to be a person that's like, if you ask me a question, I will sit there, and I will I will help you if, you need, if need be. I'm also trying to be the mentor that, you know, I could explain Black Mage. I could explain Paladin. I'm getting pretty comfortable with it. But the whole thing is, like, I've never been able to be a mentor because I never picked up a tank. I never liked tanking. And one day I just picked up Paladin. And I just went from, like, 59, because I, ha I had it up to 59-ish, I think. I went from straight 59 all the way to 90 within, like, two weeks. Hmm. Yeah. I just uh... really liked it. <laughs> Paladin's a lot of fun. Paladin, That's new Paladin is my... fun. I didn't. I, I can't vouch for the other one. I didn't play it that much, but new Paladin feels really good. Mm -hmm. No, that's uh, disagree. that's how I actually got through the entirety of the latest D DLC. Uh, it's currently evading my brain because it's morning brain, and I have and Walker coffee. and Walker. Yeah, and Walker. It's not good. It's not good. Yeah, but that's how I went through the entirety of M Walker. Yeah. I mean, it, I don't know, man. Being able not 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 control. How do I say it? contribute to like a con a controlled pull is really nice. Mhm. Mm and I'm getting better at it. Um before I was, you know, obviously a newbie, so I was very sporadic. I was like, ah, I'm gonna pull this, I'm gonna pull this, I'm gonna pull this. Now I'm kind of like, uh, trying to do my best to sit there Getting... and make sure I get that aggro in, and then moving. The nuances of tanking. Yes, and I'm trying to especially make sure that if there's a melee that I face the back of the enemy to the to the melee. Mm-hmm. Uh, that, that one I still I mean, struggle that's... with sometimes, because positioning is a little hard, especially bosses, like raid bosses. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, a lot of the vanilla uh, dungeons you go into, it's pretty easy because you just run straight for the back. So you yeah. turn the bot around and yeah. that's that's that. But that's then there are some it. bosses that they have floor effects or something like that, that, you know, you the real estate isn't there to be able to just do that. Yeah. You need to kind of make sure that you're in a spot that isn't going to harm you and it isn't going to harm the melee DPS to go in and get their positionals. Yeah. And I'm also trying to get used to like, um, uh, what's it called? Uh, forget like mitigations and stuff. Like if I can or when a good time to use reprisal is because reprisal is a 60 second cooldown. That is constantly. Oh, here we go. That is constantly available to you. Mm -hmm. Which is just really important. Yeah. So that's and what I was doing. Do the other one, when I saw like an AOE looking thing, I wish AOEs were a little bit more obvious, but I guess just knowing the fight is going to just be where you shine there, which is cool. And that's kind of, unfortunately, the role that tanks take is they have to know the fight going in. Because if you don't, yeah. you can wipe an entire party very yep. easily. Yeah, that's that's kind of what my obsession with mentorship is because I would really like to be part of that. Okay, time for a large time sink. 
Oh, maybe not. They skipped. Oh, wait, no, they didn't skip. That's right. This is where it happens. Right here. Oh, they change it? Is it not I here anymore? I believe they changed. They changed oh. Castrums quite a bit. Actually, uh, I don't know if it still does this. Oh, crap. Room. My freaking taunt, my taunt, my taunt, my taunt, my taunt. I screwed up, 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 I screwed up. Sorry. Sorry. It's okay, I'm trying to run for the middle so you can... No, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. We're good. We're good. Luckily, these actually don't hit that hard. It's just more epic than it is damaging. Mm-hmm. Okay, sorry, you were saying? I panicked with the thought. <laughs> oh, okay. No, um, the cash rooms, I think, actually uh, give quite a bit of experience because... I know they give a lot of tomes. They do, they do, but I think they give a lot of experience too when you do them, due to the fact that they want people to do it so that those who just joined uh, can enjoy the story and not have to wait for an hour and a half for one cash room to pop up. Yeah. I, I did notice that it's not eight people now. Yeah. It's only four, which is nice. Yeah, because uh, initially it was eight people. Actually, didn't it used to be a 24 man? 24 man? I mean, there's uh, Leopard of the Ancients is the very first 24 man ever. Oh, okay, so. Loa! No. Is it a cutscene here? Yeah, I think it's gonna be a cutscene, isn't it? Yeah. There's. Nope, not yet. Okay. Try to burn these groups down as much as possible right now, and. Okay. By himself. I think he's gonna summon. No, I think he's just requested a city tip. Plus one, I thought that was about to be. Alright, I have everything. Come to me. Ooh, ow, ow. They got you. I do like that it seems that they brought back skipping. I know that skipping wasn't a thing for a while. Whoa. Hey, big boys. How y'all doing? Richie. Oh, I popped yeah. arms length at a bad time. I only have one thing actually smacking me. This is shit. Oh, no, the magic that yeah, I, they, they didn't do skipping due to the fact that, again, they want it so people could hear the story and not have to worry about people skipping through it. Yeah, no, I'm saying I think they, they allowed skipping of the story, or they probably portioned the story way more than they did last time. Because I remember before, you'd be you'd be in there for pretty much an hour. Like, it was guaranteed that if you got the series for an hour. Yeah, Unless because it was, uh, it was required cutscenes. Yeah. But I think they took it off, it seems. Or they probably, like I yeah. said, they condensed it or something. It, it's different for sure, because yeah. I remember that first cutscene would take ages to end. Mm hmm. And now we're just not yeah, getting a single cutscene. Yeah, it was uh, long cutscenes with, let's be perfectly honest, terrible voice acting. Oh, oof. It, it was. I mean, it was, it was bad voice acting. Uh. The I don't remember it. <laughs> The person who voice acted Sid and the person who voice acted Guy sounded like they were phoning it in. Like they were what? They were phoning it in. Oh. I don't think they changed it either, so. I mean, didn't some voice actors. I don't know enough about voice acting, but didn't some voice actors also kind of start like on R? Like that was like their first big break. So maybe they were just still finding their voice. Maybe. Who knows? I know they changed voice actors 
eventually, though. I think Thanker did. No, not Thanker. Um, no, Thanker changed. Oh, that was a Thanker? Because now, now it's the main D&D &D dude, right? Mm -hmm. And Matt? Matt. He, he Matt. is Matt Mercer. Matt Mercer. Matt Mercer. Yeah, Mercer. There you go. But, uh, no, I mean, he does a great job, and voice actors in general, since, uh, the first DLC, DLC have all done a great job. So, you mean DLC, or since after, after the, uh, beta? So, after, after, a after 1.0? After I'm saying. AR. Okay, okay, so 2.0. Like, yeah, like... so after 2.0, so okay. at the start of, uh, Heaven's Ward. The start of, okay, so 3.0, 3.0. 3.0, the the uh, voice actors started doing really good. Gotcha. Yeah, because it's confusing. Whenever people say R, I think of like early build. Because remember, there's for for us non-beta players, there's a whole story we missed at the very beginning. Mm -hmm. And that's 1.0. 2.0 yeah. is R technically. Reborn is 2.0. Yeah. Yeah. It's and so actually. Interesting fact, if you were a original Final Fantasy XIV player... Oh, you're going to tell me you that start, too. Yeah, if you start the game uh, over, you can yeah. get the tattoo, and you have a different uh, starting movie. No, I don't think you can get the tattoo anymore. You don't oh, think yeah. you can get the tattoo anymore? No, you also get the dream. I think you still get the dream as well. Okay. Uh, no, I don't think, because my friend, my friend has an account. I don't think you get the tattoo anymore. Oh, he, does, really? he does have an account with a tattoo. Yeah, it's my boss, actually, for that matter. <laughs> my boss <laughs> has a tattooed character. I'm like, you are so lucky. It's so cool. Oh, uh, think about it. He had to he had to muddle through the original Final Fantasy XIV. Oh, okay, that didn't hurt as much. Good. I mean, yeah, no, it er, oof, it was Ooh. rough. These are definitely the mechanics. I have not ran this. Ages. I've avoided this like the plague. Oh, hello, Tank Buster. How are we doing today, Chief? Okay, we're good. My I actually like how you reworked a lot of the older dungeons. Yeah, a lot of them feel really fluid. Yeah, it's not just that, but a lot of the mechanics that you have in later ones are now in the in the older ones. Yeah. So when you go through, and let's say you're just starting off, when you get to some of the later dungeons, you don't feel like the game's throwing, you know, a curveball at you when you see a tank buster or anything like that. Oh, yeah, no. I like that. I agree. I like that it trains you. So, like, now when <laughs> I see this, you're like, oh, here comes a big old smack. Which is, is I mean, it, it's kind of like a, an yeah. in-between for me. Because before, it was, like, really cool if you just knew it, if it was coming. And some of the dungeons <laughs> still don't do the big tank buster marker. No. But it's kind of nice for training purposes because, like, later down the line, it makes it easier to recognize, like, oh, I should definitely uh, buff up here. Yeah. Less challenging, well, more I know, visual. And very I know visually appealing too. When I was just a new player and I got to some of the stuff outside of AR and there was tank busters and there was group up mechanics and there was all this stuff that, that I part? had never seen before. And I felt like a complete idiot because I would be, you know, oh well, what I don't, I don't know this, and I die. And it's just, yeah. Okay. I don't understand what I did wrong. I get that feeling. Well, kind of, kind of, I do. I was a black mage, so I, I pulled, I pulled, you know, black mages pull good numbers, and oh, yeah. I was a DPS. <laughs> So, tanking or healing wasn't really a worry for me for like eight, nine years. <laughs> mm -hmm. However, once I picked up healing, God, it was so stressful at first, but it was so fun. I I very much enjoy healing. Yeah, that's that's the one thing I do like about uh, the way they design Final Fantasy XIV. Healing is actually fun. Yeah, yes. I mean, 
it's not just a giant stress monster like it was when I played uh, World of Warcraft, for example. Back uh, in the Re Wrath of the Lich King, Burning Crusade days. Just, just so, just, just so you, you know the context behind, because I know that they change things eventually. Yeah, no, but, I never played Wrath. Well. But Probably back in, like, 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 Burning, I think I played the free trial. Burning Crusade, Wrath of the Lich King days, healing okay. was not fun. It was very much just a responsibility. Oh no. Hello, and big unfortunately, guys. I think a lot of. Oh, did they change? Hold on. Did they change us moving? Having to go up there? I think they did. Yeah, we don't have to go up there anymore. <laughs> I remember that but, thing. Yeah, but uh, that's a thing. I, I think a lot of MMOs get wrong is the healing. They don't make healing fun. You know. Yeah. And that's that's something I, that. Square Enix did very well on this game. Is... Oh no. Oh, I tried so hard to bash it. But yeah, no, I mean, this game has, I mean, you've seen it, this game has re very high praise. Not only for its story, but, you know, obviously for its gameplay and its handling. <laughs> I fucking love this community, dude. Oh, there it is. Can't skip. So nope. I guess they made they made the whole thing just up until this point, and then the big fight. I do like that they switched it though. We don't have to go up there anymore to the towers and turn on the beams and then come down and get bombarded and all that shit. It's yeah. more straightforward, which is kind of nice. Yeah, they also split up the. Uh, second part. So it's not just one thing anymore. No, no, I don't think it was ever a one second, one whole thing. Well, it used to be two whole things. It used yeah. to be the first half and the second half. They split the second half up again. Did they? Yeah. The one where you fight, um, ulti oh yeah, they, they made ultimate so that is that what you're talking about? They made yeah, they made Ultima its own thing. Okay, I think you yeah. were fight up to Gaius yeah, yeah, going yeah, down yeah. the corner. That part makes sense. I thought you were talking about like the dungeon itself got like split. I was like, wait, what? Hiya. Okay, so not a bad run. That was basically about 20 minutes. Yeah. So they did a pretty damn good job at that. Hell yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, again, like I said, it's it's so people actually do these. So that if someone new is running through, they're not waiting an hour and a half to come in and do one dungeon. Because I can tell you, that was quite the wait when I first started. <laughs> I spent an entire night uh, with this dungeon in queue. Yeah, no, I remember... It taking a while too. All right, we ready? Let's do a ready check. To make sure no one went to go get pizza or something, because that's a pretty long cutscene. All right, here we go. And do a countdown to fifteen. Make it as epic as possible. <laughs> this is actually different. Holy shit! Wait, it's circular now. We don't even have to go get the hands. No. What the hell? And you don't have to fight her and her uh, mech. Yeah, you're fighting her. What? That's so cool. Oh, I can't wait to see how this plays out. Oh, I just triple beat. Whoops. Also, I like that you're not just stomping her. Ooh, okay. Okay, we got mechanic mechanics. This is the shit I like. Oh my god. Dude, when they did freaking. Oh my god, what's the with Cape Westwind remake? Oh, it's so good. It's so good now. Have you played it? No. Oh, dude, would you get a chance? I highly recommend it. Just just to go check it out. Because they made it a solo instance now. 
It's it's a whole like you know the very first Xenos fight um, from in Stormblood. Yeah. That's what they did to it. They gave it that treatment. Oh, they made it so epic, dude. I, see, this, this is what I'm talking about. Like, it, I, I mean, it's not super hard. It's not super easy, right? But it's just, it's yeah. so fulfilling. Mm-hmm. And like I said, you know, the fact that it makes you deal with mechanics. Yeah. Where before you just go through and you'd stomp the living hell out of her. Yeah. Uh the the fact that they they included that is a excellent teaching tool for newer players. Yes. Okay. Uh oh. <laughs> uh oh. Oh. Okay. Proximities. Hello, proximity. Hello, friend. Oh, hello, friend. Um. Here. Especially because we have an Astro, we're gonna want to be stacked because I believe they have Divination. I'm pretty sure we've been hitting, been hit by Divination a few times now. Angry Salamander. Why is the Salamander so angry? Yeah. Middle, middle. Yep. I'm sorry. I'm just used to being in a poor person <laughs> once like <laughs> <I can> yell. <laughs> You're good, <crazy>, man. <laughs> I have to apologize for that. There it is. Yes, he did. You got them, baby. Artificial plasma. I'm gonna go ahead and. That's a different name. Wolf. Wolf. Ooh, okay. See, reprisal would have been good to save here. Very, very. Six, like meaningful fight. I loved it. Oh, that was so good. Wait, wait, wait. Machinist. Healer did it great, but healers always get the comps, so we got to be fair to everyone else. Hey, I, I got, got a one comp. player comp. Nice, you did too. <laughs> Fuck yeah, let's go. Every single person got a player comp because I gave it to the Astro this time because last time I gave oh. it to the DPS. <laughs> Round <laughs> <laughs> we got a roundabout. That's awesome. Yeah, I love it. Everyone did their jobs. Everyone gets a calm. Everyone gets a calm. Hell yeah. You get a calm. You get a calm. You get a calm. You get a calm. Um, honestly, I kind of want to ride the hype train. Let's go do the next one. You down? Okay, what's the next one? Praetorium. Praetorium. Okay, mm -hmm. let's do Praetorium. Bet. Uh, wait, hold on. I'm dumb. Uh. <laughs> so we'll be right back again. I, I know I was only going to do two today, but we got time. It's early in the morning and uh, I'm riding this hype train. So I will see you in a second. <laughs> 